we're going to be looking at two nodes in this video, which share the task of doing multiple tasks in either a loop or the number of times that we specify. One of those is the loop node. So what this allows us to do is to iterate over the elements of a list or an array or a JSON object and run a set of tasks or a workflow for each of those elements. And the other we're going to be looking at is the repeat node, which similarly allows us to repeat a workflow a number of times, but instead of looping over a list of objects, we're just going to tell it how many times we want to repeat a task. Let's start with the loop node. So in this workflow that I've just added my node to, I've got a REST API trigger that just says email users, retrieving that list of users from my Firestore documents. And now we're going to look at the loop node. Now, as you can see, it has two values. First is the items field, and the other is the concurrency field. So the items is going to be that list. So we can get that from our Firestore document, for example. So now it's going to list over my users. Then we have the concurrency field. So what does concurrency mean? What are we doing when we say we want to do a number of things concurrently? This boils down to doing a certain amount of things at the same time. So at the moment, this loop is going to be run for one user at a time. But let's say we have 100 users. That's doing 100 things in a row, one after the other, which can get quite slow. So what you can do, for example, is set this to say 15. So now this loop is going to be executed for 15 users at a time. Now we can add nodes in here. So for example, we can get resend to send an email and we can set up our resend node as we would usually, except there are parts of this that we want to get from that specific field. So some of these values are going to be fed in from our loop. So I'm going to show you, for example, how we can get the email address for a user. So the variables field now gives us access to our loop. We can get that item itself and Query, for example, it's record.email. Now we have access to that individual user's email when looping over this specific user. And we could set this up for all of our users and we'd only have to write this node once, which is the benefit and the power of the loop. Now let's look at the repeat node. And you're going to notice this is pretty similar. Let's say we want to do something 100 times. For this workflow, why not use AI? So let's have a node that grabs a random user from my users table on Firestore and sends them an email using resend. Now I'm going to generate that and I'll have my brand new workflow ready to go. And there you have it, ready to start setting up that subject and body. Fantastic. So there you have it. And as you can see, you can expand this any way you like to build your ideas with a powerful backend. See you in the next video.